Tournament of Legends for the Wii. Now, I hadn't particularly heard about this. Maybe I should start with the plot. When Jupiter, the king of the gods, goes missing, all of the power goes missing as well. Several of the other gods flee, in fact, most of them, because they fear retribution from the mortals. Thanatos, the god of death, is the only one not to flee. He feels he doesn't really have anything to fear from mortals. He's, you know, the taker of their souls, after all. Now, what happens is a lot of various legends try to defeat Thanatos. And along the way, they, of course, fight each other, and thus we have a typical fighting arcade game. I hadn't really heard about this game, I just found it by accident. It's not one of the more expensive games, I think it was 20 pounds originally, I got it for less than 10. But, you know, Sega is good at the whole arcade game thing, and they do pretty well here as well. I haven't played most of the newer arcade fighting games, so I'll have to just compare this to stuff as ancient as Tekken 4. Basically, there are three weight classes, um, and, you know, they're the basic three kinds you'd expect. A fast one who doesn't do an awful lot of damage, and a medium one, a happy medium between the two extremes, and then of course a large, slow, and strong one. Everybody has some basic attacks. The, the interesting thing about this one one of the interesting things is that there is no ducking, no jumping, and no attacking with your legs. You can't kick in this game. You can only attack with your hands, and your hands will always have a weapon in them. A weapon or a shield. You attack by swinging, I suppose you could say, the nunchuck or remote, depending on if you want to attack with your left hand or your right hand, either left or right. I'm not entirely sure if it's the same attack. Sometimes it seems like it is, other times it seems like it isn't, but whatever. And you can also do it forward, and that will do a overhead attack. If you hold down B while you do one of these attacks, you'll do a stronger one. If you don't hold down B and you do three in a row, three different ones, you'll do a very powerful attack as the last one, you know, chaining attacks together. Everybody has a standard weapon, and as you fight through the story mode with that character, you'll unlock the weapons of the other characters in that same weight class. You can't use a really strong, heavy weapon if you're light, and vice versa, you know. Take a light weapon in your hands if you're a big, massive legend, and you'll probably break it just, you know, holding it. Basically, Everybody has four special attacks, and these are used by holding down A and going in one of the four directions on the control stick. Now, if you do it down, it'll be the specific attack for that weapon, so you can use an attack not originally of that character if you've already unlocked a weapon from one of the others. The other three will be specific to that character. You also, before you start a match, choose your enchantment. Everybody starts with one enchantment, and all of them have a specific one. These can be like vampire you know, stealing health from the other, you can steal energy from the other. There are various ones, and you can choose any that you've unlocked. They're not at all limited to specific characters. You can't jump, but you can't get sort of behind the enemy because you can move in all three dimensions. If you hold down R and, you know, press down or up, you will, you know, move, you'll, you'll sort of strafe around the other, and if you do this, if you time this right, you can actually move out of the way of some attacks, not all. Some of the longer range weapons 
you might still get hit by. You can also defend, and if you time it just right, you won't take any damage at all. And you can defend against all basic attacks. Some of the special attacks you can't defend against, and if the enemy holds down B while attacking you, that's going to be a more powerful one that you can defend against. The legends are various. There's ten total. Two of them you have to unlock. That's Valeska, the skeleton warrior, who's apparently female. And yes, it is a complete skeleton, so even Necrophilex might have a hard time getting interested in that. But there are a couple of hot chicks also. There's a Valkyrie, and she's practically naked. And some might find the snake woman Gorgon Medusa interesting as well. Anyway, Valeska you have to defeat in the storyline mode to unlock him, and he's kind of tough. If you don't defeat him, you won't get another chance until you play it again in the storyline mode. The other one is Thanatos himself. To unlock him, you have to complete the game as all eight original ones. Now, the original ones also have ones such as a gladiator. There's a stone golem of Jupiter who believes himself to be Jupiter. There's an automaton, a machine, from either bronze or silver, depending on the skin you choose. There's a demon who has a slave to fight for him. You know, there's an interesting... a minotaur. And not all of them are you know, massively memorable, and like I said, there's only ten, so this isn't going to compete with established franchises like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Tekken, you know. But it is a fun game. You really get into the fighting because it's so immersive, because of the Wii, because it uses the motion sensor apparatus, you know. You actually sort of have to deliver punches to attack. And it also has some really interesting special attacks where it also really uses the motion sensor, whatever. For example, one of them has a weapon where one of the things is a, you know, a pair of scissors. And you can actually get the enemy into these scissors and then by moving the hands together when prompted to, you'll, you know, cut them. That might sound like it's really gory. I already mentioned Mortal Kombat. This is not a gory game. There's some blood. Some of this, you know, green because not everyone is a human being. But that's really it for the violence. There's nothing terribly brutal. It's basically limits, limited to the blood. And there's, I suppose, maybe some disturbing content. The voice acting is reasonable enough. Some of them have kind of dumb accents. I guess one of them is Bast, and I guess you had to give her an accent because she's supposed to be... I think it's Indian. I love mythology, but my favorite is North, Norse, closely followed by Greek. This is mainly Roman mythology. You know, in Greek mythology, Hades is the god of death. Zeus is the king of the gods. But anyway, Bast is maybe Indian, Egyptian, might be Egyptian. She has a cat head. And of course you have to give her an accent. Unfortunately, they also gave someone like Thanatos an accent. And when you first meet him, he, like, taunts you by saying, you think you can challenge a god? And because of his accent, it comes out sounding like goat instead. I don't know. Personally, I think I could take on a goat and come out successful, but, you know, they do have a lot of aggression and, you know, horns, so I don't know. He has a the head of a, I don't know, sparrow. Please don't ask me why. Some of these, they went a little weird with the designs, honestly. I also think the Minotaur looks a little bit too much like a horse more than a bull. On the plus side, he's kind of really aggressive, you know, he badly needs anger management, and 